Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Top 5 Best Budget Gaming Keyboard. Starting at number 5. Logitech K845. Logitech's K845 replaces our previous budget productivity pick, the K840. The K845 costs about $10 more but adds white backlighting, 5 patterns, 3 brightness levels. For a $60, you get a full-sized mechanical layout with an aluminum top plate and your choice of red, linear, blue, clicky tactile, or brown, tactile, switches made by TTC. For $20 more, you can opt for one of the 845CH models, which feature Cherry MX red or blue switches. The company sent us a K845 with TTC blue switches, which we found to be a satisfying substitute over Cherry MX blue switches. The switches are rated for 50 million clicks and the molded keycaps are comfortable and durable, though we didn't love the chunky font. The Logitech K845 sports an aluminum top plate that both looks good and delivers a more premium feel than you might expect from a keyboard in this price range. That said, if you're used to pricier keyboards with lots of heft, the K845's 1.72 pound weight and plastic shell don't exactly scream premium. There are no dedicated macro or media keys, included software, or detachable cable. And the white backlight isn't as snazzy as RGB. But we also wouldn't expect all that in this price range. The flip-up plastic feet at the back do feel a bit more substantial and durable, though, than many other keyboards we've tested with higher price points. If you're after a simple, no-fuss, entry-level mechanical clacker for productivity purposes, and perhaps some occasional gaming, the Logitech K845 is a great option, especially if you can snag it on sale. Coming at number 4. Havit KB487L. The Havit KB487L doesn't fit neatly into any other category, but it's such an interesting keyboard that we had to include it here. It's a standard TKL shape, but instead of having the usual cluster of shortcut keys along the right-hand side, it has a number pad. This leads to a have-your-cake-and-eat-it-too design that offers the space-saving advantages of a TKL keyboard but doesn't actually consign spreadsheet lovers to using the number row. Our reviewer, who rarely uses the shortcut cluster or number pad, didn't notice the difference during everyday use, but it's almost certain to throw off anyone who's used to a more traditional layout. Havit also equipped the KB487L with durable PBT keycaps that feel nice and boast a unique black, white, and orange color scheme that allow the KB487L to stand out among the sea of monochromatically faced keyboards currently available. This doesn't look or feel like a budget mechanical keyboard. Luckily, the KB487L's beauty is more than skin deep. Our reviewer didn't notice any mispressed keys throughout multiple days of playing Valorant or Counter-Strike, Global Offensive, and those games make it pretty easy to tell when you're doing something wrong with the keyboard namely by making what should have clearly been a headshot fly off somewhere between the lost cities of Atlantis and Narnia. It may not be your preferred experience, but it's better than most linear switch equipped options. At number 3. Redragon K615 Elise. Redragon has a reputation for delivering shockingly capable and well-built devices at bargain basement prices. And the Redragon K615 Elise continues that tradition at just $35. The K615 is a compact wired mechanical gaming keyboard with RGB lighting, low-profile tactile blue switches, and a solid feel that's aided by a metal band that runs around the entire edge of the device. Redragon even throws in a removable USB-C cable and flip-up feet to lift the back of the keyboard up for a better typing-slash-gaming angle. Of course, there are compromises given the crazy low price and compact form factor. K615 doesn't come with software, so you'll mostly have to live with the 18 lighting presets, although you can record a custom light show via a complex dance of key combos. The limitation of just 61 keys means that many common characters and functions, like the arrow keys, get relegated to secondary FN functions. But that's a limitation of the space-saving 60% form factor, not a fault of this particular keyboard. Also on the negative side, Redragon seems to only sell the K615 with clicky blue switches, rather than the red-slash-linear type that most people prefer for gaming. 
That said, as these are low-profile switches with shorter travel, that may be less of an issue. And amazingly, again, given the price, the low-profile switches can be swapped in for something else. Four spare switches and a key and switch puller are also included in the box. Just know that the switches are Odemu style, with their pins closer together than most others. None of the many low-profile switches we had on hand would fit. So if you do want to replace the blue switches here, you may have to get replacements from somewhere like AliExpress. Number 2 of my list Aki KMG14 The Aki KMG14, $58, was the only clicky budget mechanical keyboard we tested that didn't make us want to accidentally spill something on top of it. The clicks are pronounced, sure, but they're closer to the pleasant pinging end of the spectrum than the unbearable clacking end. Pretty much everything else about the keyboard was also a welcome surprise, given its price. Aki equipped the KMG14 with RGB backlighting and full N-key rollover. It also used double-shot ABS keycaps, which is surprising given how cheap this mechanical keyboard is. Still, the KMG14 comes with a keycap puller to make it easier to swap out the keycaps with something a little snazzier, which was a nice touch and something we wish some other manufacturers had thought to include with their more unfortunate looking keycaps. While this is marketed as a gaming keyboard, we're recommending it for typing, simply because the clicks prove to be distracting to us and our teammates while we play games like Valorant and Call of Duty, Modern Warfare. There are no tactile or linear switch options here that would be less distracting. People who prefer single-player games, or who don't mind grieving their teammates every time they press a key, will find a fine gaming keyboard here as well. And number 1. Cooler Master CK552 The Cooler Master CK552 is the best budget mechanical keyboard for most users. It's a full-sized gaming keyboard with RGB backlighting, an aluminum top plate, and a 5.9-foot, 1.8M, USB 2.0 cable. It comes with gate ROM switches in red, linear, blue, clicky, or brown, tactile. Our review unit came with gate ROM red switches that were responsive during gaming, so much so that our reviewer occasionally pressed keys they didn't mean to. This means it's not the best for heavy typing sessions. Choosing a different switch type might help, but the other switch options have been harder to find recently. For gamers and enthusiasts, the CK552 features onboard memory that can store up to four profiles and on-the-fly controls that make it easy to record macros and control the backlighting. It's also compatible with the Cooler Master Portal utility, which offers more granular controls over many of the same areas, but isn't as robust as rivals, such as Razer Synapse. Still, this dual approach should appeal to people who don't like to install a bunch of software and those who want greater control over their peripherals. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.